Welcome to another tutorial on Brizzy Page Builder. And we are learning here by deconstructing the blocks. These blocks, of course, are coming with the free Brizzy Page Builder that are currently available for everyone and the Pro that will be coming out in around August. Yes, uh, let's continue. And I don't want these videos to be too long because I fear, incredibly big fear, that within a short while these videos are going to be redundant as new features are added, workflows change, and of course, once the Pro version comes out, it's going to be very, very different to what we are doing now. New, um, new, new features, uh, new settings, uh, extra things like, I hope, gradient overlays, gradient overlays, and there's a lot of other features that we are all hoping for. And of course, we are also excited about maybe the integration of the themes from them. And that's a lot to look forward to. That's why, yes, I'm, I'm going to be very casual in these videos and probably release quite a few over the weekend when I have more time to record. So bear with my monologues and uh, I hope you can find something interesting here. And please, if you've noticed something that you, you didn't know before, um, let me know. You know, um, I'm constantly finding new things and that is the problem in this version one, which in my opinion is actually a beta version, is that because there are no tutorials available, there are no guides, uh, not all these features exist very openly. We don't know what's going on. And it could be that you came across something very fascinating. Somebody else can benefit from that. Right, so let's continue. Start building your page. And today I want to focus on a block that includes this element called the icon box. And we have to start always with a block and we get our blocks here. And we are going to start with a Brizzy block. I'm going to go in the light section, scroll down to the bottom, and then I'll find this block here. Easiest way to build sites. And let's quickly just analyze what we have here. We have a text element because anything that is a paragraph or that is a heading will be a text element. And then we have two columns. And inside these columns, you will notice that you have an icon, you have a title text, a text paragraph, and you have a button. And around them, there is one single frame. When you see this, you know you are working with an icon box. That is the one that I had indicated here earlier. It is very limited in what the icon box can do, but for a free version, wow, man, don't ask for more. This is good enough for a free version. And I hope that when it gets to the pro version, we're going to get awesome things like you can get an Elementor already, or like the DV Blurb, or even like uh, Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor some great stuff there. Even Thrive Architect has got some great things that you can do with icons and, you know, making a box out of it. So let's begin by duplicating this block. And we're first going to open our own block, an empty one, add a blank block. And I always go ahead and first delete the template they give me. Then we're going to start with our title over here, which is a text. Grab the text, drag it in. And then let's click on it and give it the same title. Easiest way to build sites. Center alignment. By clicking on the align once, put it in the center. And now let's look at what they did to it. On the topography, you can see it's a heading to styling. On the colors, they gave it the second swatch, this color. And then just to check on the HTML tag under settings, H2. Let's do the same. Click on it. Go to Topography, Heading 2. Give it the color, second swatch, settings, H2. There, we've already started. It's a good start. As I click on it, you can see the frame. And this frame, if I hover over that frame and you compare it to the one at the bottom, you immediately see that one, the width is not as wide as the one at the bottom. And the reason for that constraint is the block settings. And like before, the block, you go up here to the slider icon you see, click on it, 
and you will see the settings under settings and it's a boxed at 80%. So let's do that to our block as well. Boxed, bring it down to 80%. Right, that should give us the right configuration. Under our title is the spacer and we get the spacer element over here. This is an element I have to admit I didn't use a lot before, but by doing this deconstructing of the Brizzy blocks, I've grown more and more familiar with it. I feel more confident with it. I, yes, I used to work only with padding and margins, but I can see how, you know, like the spacer can really do a lot in helping with your layout. So definitely for my future designs, I'll be bringing in more of the spacers. Right, so let's look at the spacer up here. Click on it, settings, 50 pixels. And you will notice the one that we dragged in also 50 pixels. That is the default setting then for a spacer as it comes in at 50 pixels. Now we need two columns. We don't need a row. There's no row here. We only need two columns. And we're going to do that again, going to add elements, going down to columns, drag them in, and it will give you two columns. So let's begin then by placing our first icon box in our first column. Grab the icon box and drag it in. The first thing you'll notice is the frame around the icon box with the little toolbar up here. And if you click on the settings on the toolbar, you only get what padding and margin. And then for your RSS, CSS and show on desktop, you know, visibility, you only get this. So how on earth are you going to be styling the icon and the text and the button if your settings only allow you to do this? And this makes Brizzy very unique. Brizzy has taken these elements and put them in a container for you. But in reality, they are still separate elements. So if you want to stylize the icon, you click on the icon and look at that the two settings for the icon shows up. And if you want to stylize the paragraph, you click on that, you get your toolbar for that. Same for the button, click on it. And you, in fact, have three options, uh, not options, but toolbars, each one stylizing or styling the different elements in this box separately. So let's look then at this icon. What do we have up here? We can see it at 64 with spacing at 20. Let's look at this one. Click on the icon. Spacing 20, size 48. Let's also make it 64. And that is a copy. Let's just change it. Go in there and choose any random icon just to make it a little bit different. So if you look up here, how did they do that? Where did they get the two text elements from? And this was a nice one for me. I didn't realize that you can actually do that with just making paragraphs. So jobs done fast, let's use the same one. I put my cursor at the front and I'm going to type jobs done fast and enter, give a paragraph. And from that, you, if you now click on the top one, you see your toolbar pick up here. And if you click on the bottom one, it's actually a second one. Let me show you. Let's first do the top one. Click on it, heading four, and the color is also the second swatch. Uh, uh, settings, HTML tag H4, but also notice that they have a gap below. That's where that space comes in of 15 pixels. So again, heading four. Let's go do that to jobs done fast. I click in the line, heading four, change the color. Go to settings, go below 15 pixels, and put this one on H4. Look how quickly we did that. Boom, boom, baby. And now, what are we going to do with our paragraph? You just click in the paragraph. You see your text is paragraph. It should be second swatch from the right, which is this gray. And your settings is gap below, also 15 pixels with a P for your HTML tag. Let's do the same. Click in the paragraph 
It is paragraph. It's the right gray. Go to settings. Get below 15 pixels. And it's on your paragraph. Look how quickly we did that. Right? And this, of course, with your paragraph or your text element, you can make as many paragraphs as you want and you can style them all differently. It's a really great feature. It's similar to the WordPress text editor. Let's just look at what they did with the button. Um, let's see. I think it looks exactly the same, but the background is maybe different. Yes, our background is this light blue. There's, click on it, click on the button. No, click on the color, because that's what we are styling. And we want to know what are the hover elements or settings. Click over hover. We see it's this one. And we're going to do the same down here. Click on the button, color, hover. And we need to look at this slider, increase the opacity. And there we go. Absolutely awesome. What we're going to do next then is you see there's actually a spacer element, but I will go ahead and duplicate this icon box first so we can have two. Doom. And then I'm going to drag a spacer in there. Grab the spacer. Wait for the thick gray bar. Let go. Let's just check this one settings. Looks around. Oh, also 50. So we know 50, 50. But just to look at our margins for the column, you can see that these frames go quite tight to the column. But if you look at this one up here, you can see there's a lot of white space on both the left and the right. And that would be your column settings. So we click on the blue column, go to settings, more settings. And then remember, usually your padding will be 515, 515. 15. That is like a default setting. So we have 5, 40, 5, 40. And then we go to our column, go to settings, more settings. You see that's 5, 15, 5, 15. We're going to change these two to 40. I just type in the 40 and enter. And there we go. Look at that. It's exactly the same copy. I'm just going to change this icon for show. Let's do that one. And not to create more work for ourselves, we are going to duplicate this entire column. And we do that by going to this column, delete it, ah, delete it, didn't I say delete it? And then go to this column and duplicate it. Right. Just to check if our margins in the second column is the same, click on this one, settings, more settings. 54540, 40, yes. And because we have duplicated this one, it should also be 54540. 40. Let's confirm. I always say that. And then I have to eat my own hat later on. Right, let's change the icons just for a little bit. Variety. What is this guy doing? Jumping jacks, what is that? And choose another icon over here. And yes, it's retrieving that icon from the cosmos. There we go. Great. And look how quickly we did that. And this is with a very, very great feature in the free version of Brizzy. Hope you found that helpful. Let me know if there is anything that I had missed or anything that you think that can also be done with this great feature. And then see you in the next video.